In fact, my road to Broadway is a wild one. It was about five states, a couple of different countries, and 19 years. <sighs> They say I'm crazy, got no sense, but I don't care. They may or may not mean offense, but I don't care. You see, I'm sort of independent. I am my own superintendent, and my star is on the ascendant. That's why I don't care. I'm 11 years old, and I am auditioning for the local semi-professional production of Annie in our hometown. And it's three days of auditions, hundreds of girls, and it gets down to just two of us for the lead of Annie. And they have us acting and singing and dancing and working with different daddy warbucks and jumping through hoops. Literally, we did cartwheels and we jumped through hoops. <laughs> And at the end of this audition process, the producers came down and they said, hey, oh my gosh, you guys, you're extraordinarily talented. We are so thankful that you're here and what you've done. And um, just to let you know, the role has been precast, but uh, this was just to cover our bases. So thank you very, very much. Hell no. I'm 11 years old. I, my entire world is turned upside down, but I don't care. I don't care what people think of me. I'm happy, go lucky. They say that I'm plucky, contented, and carefree. I don't care. I don't care if I do get a mean and stony stare. If I'm not successful, it won't be distressful, because I don't care. Years old, and my mother has forged my birth certificate so that I could audition for the Disneyland Summer Parade. That explains a whole lot, doesn't it? So I show up, I'm excited. My sister has worked at Disneyland for a handful of years, and she's been a dancer in Snow White and Cinderella, and I think it's my turn. It's my turn to be a princess. So after an interminable day of auditioning at Disneyland, if you're still standing by the end, they give you an index card, and on that index card is written what your part's gonna be. And I see Pfeiffer, and I think, oh, Pfeiffer? Princess Pfeiffer? Who is Princess Pfeiffer? And I think, and I think, and there is no Princess Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer is one of the three little pigs. So I spent my summer underage, sweating my pork loins off, under a 35 pound character head, playing a pig. A girl should know her etiquette, alas, alack. Propriety demands we walk a narrow track. When fellas used to blink at me, I'd freeze them and they'd shrink at me. And now when fellas wink at me, I wink at them right back. I don't care, I don't care if people frown on me. Perhaps it's the lone way, but I go my own way. That's my philosophy. I'm now 19 old and I have been working at Disneyland for a couple of years myself as a princess. Thank you very much. I have been playing. Thank you. Thank you. The people that know me and love me most know that's an important part to my life. I'm playing Belle in the stage production of Beauty and the Beast and we all get word that Disney Theatricals is going to do their Broadway debut with Beauty and the Beast. And I think, hello, I am Belle at the park. Our costumes are already made. This part is mine. So I audition. I get flown out to New York for the final callbacks. I do as well as I can for a 19-year-old. And the feedback from casting is that I'm just a bit too green. I need to quit Disneyland. I need to get some practical experience, some more regional credits on my resume. And I take it. I think it's great advice. Mm. However, my feisty, fearless 19-year-old self looked at casting and said, I'm gonna be big. I'm gonna be really, really big. I don't care, I don't care if he's in casting or a millionaire. There's no doubt about it, I'll sing and I'll shout it, cause I don't care. I'm now 27. 
11 years old, I get a random phone call from Stephen Schwartz, the great Stephen Schwartz. Uh, yes, he's in LA, he's developing a new musical. He heard of my name, thought he'd give me a call, okay. So I meet with him the very next day and we sing through a couple of songs. And so begins my two year journey with the beginnings of what would become the mega hit, Wicked. And, uh, yep. So again, I get flown out for the final callbacks in New York, and I have fallen in love with the Wicked Witch, the part of Elphaba. I know her, I love her, I desperately want to play her on Broadway. But again, I get the feedback from casting that I'm just too green. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? Anyway, uh, I am heartbroken, but they do offer me the part of her understudy, and I say yes. I call my agents and I said, of course, I wanted a different outcome, but it's time. I think it's time for me to go to New York. I don't care, I don't care. When it comes to happiness, I'll get my share. Don't try to rearrange me. You knock me down, I keep popping back up. Nothing can change me. I'll always be more of a pig than a princess, but I don't. 